many of you guys and gals out there had put in the comments that you had to learn more about heart tools. You're having trouble sleeping at night because you didn't know enough about heart tools. So I'm here to tell you about heart tools and do a little comparison between the heart and the HyperTuff, two Walmart brands here. I bought these for the exact same price for the kits. The heart was on clearance because they have a new brushless model, but I'm going brush for brush this time. This is the common model that most of us would be familiar with. It is $49.99 now on clearance, although it started a little bit higher than that. Comes with a battery and charger. The HyperTuff came with a battery and charger as well. They are both awful chargers. This is the charger for the HyperTuff. This is the charger that came with the Bauer. When you compare it to other brands, you can see that it is bad compared to those. These are much more substantial. The heart states that it has 2,500 RPMs and 3,200 impacts per minute. The HyperTuff says it has 2,700 RPMs per minute. I don't see where it says how many impacts per minute. Oh, HyperTuff is sounding kind of rough there. See how she does. I put her through the ringer a little bit. This might be her final test. The HyperTuff with battery weighs in at 1,276 grams. The heart with battery weighs in at significantly more, 1,554 grams. Both impact drivers are using an amp and a half battery. Let's see how it sounds. bit different tone. All right, now let's try something a little bit bigger and compare how quickly these two boys put in one of our longer lag screws. Two, three. <laughs> These are the holes that we just made with those thin lag screws. I'm gonna try this much thicker lag screw. This screw takes a three quarter socket and we're gonna see if it can even drive those through those holes. Three. <laughs> started stalling out hard right it close. In my previous testing, I, I found this wasn't very powerful compared to some other brands. It seems to be at least comparable to the HyperTuff, maybe a little bit more powerful. I haven't seen the results of the tests, but uh, the HyperTuff is a little bit lighter and you can definitely tell it's a little bit smaller and a little bit easier to work with, but the heart appears more powerful, but we'll find out for sure. I'll let you guys know when I find some new heart tools. I'll keep working my way through them and we'll get those brushless ones even though they're a little bit insane on how much they want to sell them for. Whenever you can buy brushless Milwaukee mid-grade products for the same price, you probably want to buy the Milwaukee stuff. But hey, that's just me. Uh, that's the hard impact driver. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.